So we are at the halfway mark this year, thanks to all of you. We're sending journalists to Mexico City, Tokyo, Singapore, Johannesburg, Mumbai, Bangkok, Hong Kong, Bogota, and Beirut. And we're supporting reporting projects in places like the Brazilian Rainforest and Spain, where our next fellow, Meg, is heading. The Flora Lewis Fellowship to Meg Bernhardt of Livid Catholic University, presented by two former winners of the same award, Daphne Faladakis and Amelia Newberg. Uh, uh, Meg is fluent in Spanish. She attended Harvard as an undergraduate, and she's returning to Spain this summer to report on renewed efforts by the current Spanish government to exhume mass graves believed to contain the bodies of tens of thousands of those executed during the Spanish Civil War. While reporting for the Los Angeles Times last year, I rode a bus from Madrid deep into the Spanish countryside with a woman named Ilma Blanco. It wasn't your usual bus. We were riding on La Caravana de Mujeres, a bus of 50 or so middle-aged women, mostly from Latin America, looking for farmers to date. Blanco, who had escaped domestic abuse in Colombia, had been taking that bus since it began about two decades ago with the aim of bringing city women to the country for a night of dancing and flirting with locals. We spent 18 hours together on the long bus ride, on the dance floor, and around 3 a.m. she took me aside and told me the story of Juan Antonio, a 60-year-old Andalusian farmer with whom she had fallen in love at a caravan event several years prior. What happened, I asked. I mean, she was at another caravan event, right? She sighed. His mother. She didn't like Latino women. It's moments like these, brief experiences of intimacy, that drive me to do the work that I do. The truth of the human condition can be found in these conversations. Late night confessions at a bar, talks in someone's living room, when both I and my interviewee are exhausted and that hard barrier between reporter and subject transforms into something truly human. I've learned so much this way. I met a mother who stays up until 3 a.m. most nights Googling search terms related to her son's death. I've met a sex worker who cleans her street at dawn just to keep the place looking nice. I've written about these people in my past two and a half years as a freelance reporter in Spain for the Los Angeles Times, uh, Harper's, Guernica, and, and other places. Through my work, I hope to carve out a space of empathy in news reporting. I'll use the Foundation Award to fund reporting on a story about a forensic doctor, a victim of state-sponsored terrorism, mass graves, and historical memory in Spain. And after I complete that project, I'm hoping to move to Colombia, which, as we've heard, is experiencing a resurgence of violence following the 2016 peace accords. Uh, for both projects, I really look forward to talking deep in the night with people about those things that truly make us human. Thank you. <laughs>